So the patients come in with an L4, L5 fusion. So with any kind of hardware in the back, we don't want to stretch that because it's metal. Whatever effort I put in, it's not gonna make sense but the patient is still having consistent back pain. So the best thing we can do is to stretch the joints above and below, okay? So your L4, your S joint, you can't really stretch it, it's one solid bone. The next best thing is to stretch the pelvis and the hips. So we're gonna start with that and we can go up the chain and stretch the thoracic spine. So let's start with stretching the hip area. So a good way to do that is to do hip internal external rotation. So coming over here, feeling a good stretch, you feel that? Yep, and then coming over here, feeling a really good stretch there. Awesome. You can also work through stretching the quad. Very flexible. And if you elevate a little bit, you can do a hip flexor stretch as well. Okay, perfect. So, if a pa so with the patient who came in, we did about three minutes of stretching per side, just to help to loosen up everything as well. Yeah, very flexible. You're okay? So the main thing with this kind of stretching is you, you don't wanna make sure the hip doesn't come off the bed. So if the person is doing this, then there's no stretch going on. You wanna keep it nice and down. So I just put pressure on the PSIS to make sure the person doesn't lift up, okay? So that's a good way to stretch the hips. You can also do a glute stretch, which we'll do in a little bit. Otherwise, thoracic spine stretching. So I like to use the corkscrew technique. I don't like to do any manipulation. So we're just doing a nice gentle stretch. So let's start around mid back here, gonna lock off and just gentle pulsing. You feel the stretch? Oh, a little bit there. <laughs> so you might get a bit of crepitus, but the goal is not to, to get that crepitus. We're just trying to loosen up a little bit. We can also do some Maitland mobilization. So on the transverse process of the thoracic spine, it's a good way to loosen things up. Okay, cool. Otherwise, let's get you face up. Another good way is to stretch the glute muscles. So all you're gonna do is you're going to flex the hip to 90 degrees and then internally rotate here. Good glute stretch, okay. And you can do a capsule stretch for the other side. Nothing too crazy. This is a bit uncomfortable for a lot of people, but good glute stretch here. If this is too easy, you can do an overpressure. So resting the shoe up against your chest, you're going to drive the heel up, you feel that more? Yep, comfortable? Okay, cool. Again, going for about three minutes of volume there. So this is an exercise I prescribe to this patient to make sure that they don't move their lower back, but they end up strengthening and mobilizing their thoracic spine. So with a the TheraBand, just loop it around the door, okay? They're gonna do a unilateral or one-sided row, and they're gonna twist their body. So try this side, so row, yep, and then just twisting the, the trunk. Good, and then back the other side, and do the other side, cool. So the main thing is we do it seated because when you're seated, it locks off your thoracic, uh, your lumbar spine, sorry. So you're not actually putting any pressure through there. The pressure should only be felt around the shoulder blade area. Yep, and when you do this, it should be uncomfortable, not painful, just feeling a stretch in the upper back, nothing in the lower back area. So try again, let's try to go a little bit more, 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 cool, feel that there? So this exercise, I do want to work on endurance, so I would recommend two sets of 20 reps. So that's 10 reps per side. If we do want to stretch their glutes, we want them to do it as an exercise, so we're going to do it at home. So all you're going to do is bend this leg, and with this one, can you cross over like you're sitting like that? Perfect. All right, with your hands, tuck it underneath this thigh, and you're going to pull it up, and you should feel a big stretch in this glute, yeah? Cool. So holding it for time, again, you shouldn't feel any pressure in the lower back. If you do, then you're pushing too hard. It should only be localized to that hip area. So if you find it more comfortable, you can do like a little bit of a pulse. So just kind of on off. Yep, just to get that little bit of an extra stretch. And you wanna do about a total of one minute volume on this side and one minute volume on this side. So if it's really uncomfortable, you just do like 10 seconds, take a break, and then do six repetitions, but a total of one minute of volume here. Okay. Yeah, do you look cool? <laughs>